close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to breathe in a way that feels comfortable. Not too long, not too short, not too deep, not too heavy, not too light, not too shallow. Trying to figure out what kind of breathing feels good for the body right now. Because the mind needs a good place to stay. If it doesn't have a good place to stay here, it's going to go wandering outside. Like a child who doesn't have a good home. Goes wandering out in the streets, and you know what happens to children wandering in the streets? All kinds of horrible things. They might find some nice things, but there are a lot of dangers. And that's the same with our mind as it wanders around. Because sometimes it wanders into good things, sometimes it wanders into greed, sometimes it wanders into anger, delusion. And like some children who disappear, and the mind just disappears into these moods. And the moods take over. So give the mind a good place to stay, right here, right now. Breathe easily. At the moment there's nothing else you have to think about, nowhere else you have to go. At the end of the meditation you will have to think, you will have to go someplace, but at least you're giving the mind a place to rest in the meantime. And don't leave the meditation right here where you're sitting. Try to take the skills with you, because you're going to need them. Anger is one of the big issues that comes up in the course of the day. Someone else does something bad, and part of you knows that anger is bad, and another part of you likes anger. And it'll tell you well, what that person did was worse than your anger. You can get all worked up about it and end up doing things that you're going to regret. So you have to remember, okay, there is, it, it is possible to breathe easily, because one of the big problems of anger is that the breath, breathing feels uncomfortable. So breathe in a way that feels good. Relaxing dispels the tension inside. And then you can think more clearly about what to do. But you have to remember, anger is something you do want to keep under your control. You have to remember all the damage that people have done to themselves through anger. And all the damage you've done to yourself through anger. You always want to keep that in mind. So that when the temptation comes to act on anger, you can hold it in place. And you can breathe calmly instead, realizing that by breathing calmly you're putting yourself in a position of strength, a position where it's a lot easier to think about the right thing to do and say and think. So try to take these skills with you, the skills of breathing easily, no matter what the situation. Because when you're breathing easily, you have more mindfulness, you have more alertness, which means you're in a better position to deal with the situation as it arises. Years back I had a student whose son was having a lot of anger issues as he became a teenager. She brought him here one time, and as she was explaining to me how she wanted me to teach him how not to be angry, she turned to him and said, you can't be angry, you can't be angry. I said, no, don't say that. Tell him, okay, when you're angry, this is what you do. You stop and you remind yourself, I can't act on this, and then you breathe calmly. And then you're more likely to be able to figure out what needs to be done and not give in to that temptation that says it would feel really good to let loose with some anger every now and then. That temptation has been the undoing of a lot of people. So whatever reasons the anger gives that you should get worked up, so remind yourself, okay, I can't get worked up. I've got to be cool. I've got to be calm. And it's when you're cool and calm that you come out winning. At the very least, you've won out over your anger. And many times you've won out over the situation by being able to think of something that's more skillful than whatever it was that occurred to you during the anger. To learn how to take these skills, the skills of breathing well, the skills of breathing throughout the whole body with a sense of ease. And remind yourself you can use them wherever you go. So don't just leave them here, take them with you. <laughs>